Welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate it. Today we quickly want to take a look at the chemistry practical for NEPO 2023. The 2023 NEPO chemistry practical. And we have done the quantitative analysis. Today we want to look at the qualitative analysis, that is the salt analysis. So please, I will, I will encourage all of us to try as much as possible to pay attention to what we want to do today. Now, NEPO has asked us to make available a particular type of salt, and that is what we will be using today. So we will quickly use the salt to uh, think about possible questions that you can come across in your exam. Now, it is very, very important for you to know that there is a way in which you can actually carry out this experiment and you get the best grade out of the exam. Now, first and foremost, I need, to understand, I need you to understand that there is a way to prepare your table. The table for salt analysis is uh, done this way. We have something that looks like this. Here we have test. Here we have observation. And here we have inference. That is what we have here. We have the test, observation, and inference. Now it is very, very important for you to know that whenever you are writing or carrying out this experiment, you must take observation or be very, very observant of everything that is happening. You talk about possibly the color, the, uh, the smell, the, the evolving of gas, everything that you can observe. Everything, that, and that is why as a scientist, you need to be very, very observant. So we'll be recording whatever we are uh, asked to do here. Now, we have been told to prepare a particular spot, and that is what we are starting with today. So, it is labeled, the salt is going to be labeled, and so, we will be starting with this. Now, let me see, let's do this. Let me quickly, because it is very, very important. Every of your test to me, or your wash, uh, your glassware needs to be very, very clean. So, we have uh, salt here. I will be putting my salt into this now. Okay, this is the volume of salt that I'll be using for this particular experiment. So let's assume that the first thing that you see in your question is asking you to dissolve your sea, your, to, sorry, to add uh, water to your sea, distilled water. So one, we have C or whatever letter is being used to denote this particular sample, sample C or sample D plus distilled water, distilled water. Now, let us see what happens when we add distilled water to our sample D. Now, this is distilled water being added to our sample D, adding about 5 ml of distilled water and then I am shaking. I am trying to see what happens if it is going to be possible for my distilled water to mix with the salt that I have actually put in the test tube. So everything we see here or everything that we can see or that we observe must go into the table and that is going to be recorded under observation. So let us see what happens. Okay. It is appearing that I am not seeing the salt again. Okay. You can see what I am seeing here. So, here under my observation, what I will be having here is sample D dissolved. dissolved in distilled water. So if I'm saying that sample C, sample D dissolved in distilled water, then I should be able to get an inference for that. So for my inference, I can't confirm anything for now. So what I will say is that what my sample C, sample D, sample D is soluble in distilled in distilled water. So that is going to be what I have for the first uh, part of the table. And then for the question 
scripture now. It says I should uh, divide this substance here, like sample D, that has been dissolved in distilled water, and I should what? put it into different parts. So that is what I want to do now. I will quickly, I'm using this uh, test tube. So let me put a portion of my sample D that has been dissolved in this test tube. Alright, this is a portion of my sample D. So what I want to do now is, I want to add to my sample D, I want to add barium chloride. So this is my reagent, barium chloride, so I will add few drops of the barium chloride to my sample D and we'll see what uh, happens from that. Well, this is what I'm getting. My sample D is actually giving me some color patch. I'm seeing white particles in the solution there and the white particles they are not uh, clearing out so we call that precipitate we call that precipitate so that is what I will record here so I say sample D plus barium chloride in drops sample D plus barium chloride in drops so my observation is that there is formation of white precipitates. Formation of white precipitates. Yes, that is what I am observing from this. Now from this, I should be able to have an inference. What is the thing that, what, what possible thing that you think is happening here? I am suspecting that there are some ions present in this and the ions that I am suspecting that are present here, I am suspecting the trazosulfate I'm suspecting the trazosulfate. I'm also suspecting trazosulfate. And lastly, I'm suspecting uh, trazocarbonate ions. Those are the ions that I'm suspecting the trazosulfate ion, trazosulfate ion, and uh, uh, trazocarbonate ion. Those are the, uh, the ions that I am suspecting in this particular uh, experiment that I have seen here. So when I add my barium chloride in drops to sample D that has been dissolved, I will be getting white precipitate like you can see here and then these are the possible ions that I am suspecting, okay? So I have the trazosulfate, trazosulfate and trazocarbonate suspected. So it is, in, it is important that you write this, that you are suspecting it, you have not confirmed that any of this is present, you are only suspecting that they are dead. So that is that about that. So let us see what is going to happen next. Now, okay, so that is that about that. Now let us let, let's let's go for that. Let's take another test tube. Let's take another test tube. Okay. Let me use this. Now to this, okay. I can, I can actually do this first. To so what I have here, let me add, let's assume I am asked to add uh, dilute HCl, dilute hydrochloric acid. If I add dilute hydrochloric acid to it, let me see what happens. Now, okay. Before I do that, I need a litmus paper because I probably be having some reactions here. So let me get my litmus paper. Let me get my litmus paper. So I have my uh, I have my blue and my red litmus paper. So let me dampen it in it with this because of the type of reaction that we are hoping to uh, experience here. Yes, I have dampened my white, uh, red and blue litmus paper. You can see them, red and blue litmus paper. So I am having them close by here. Now let me add my dilute HCl to this uh, content. Now, we can see that there is gas being evolved here. So let us see if there is going to be any reaction on the litmus papers. Let's see if there is going to be any reaction on the litmus papers. I've added little drops of the uh, HCl to the content. Now, from what I'm seeing here, I am seeing that the red litmus paper, we can see, the red litmus paper has not uh, undergone any change, but the blue litmus paper is turning from blue to pink. 
Let me put it again so we see clearly. The red litmus paper is not undergoing any change, but the blue litmus paper is turning to pink. We can see it. So that is informing that what we are having here is slightly acidic. Okay? Because it's turning red litmus paper to blue. Okay? So that is that. So let's, let's see. I still have some particles in this. So let me see if I, if I were to add uh, hydrochloric acid in excess, what happens? Well, you can see that the particles have cleared out. All of the particles in it have cleared out. So there's no more particle in this substance. So we do not have any precipitate any longer. So. Excess phenolphthalein, we eventually turn the color 
when we shake the Lord's name. You can see what we have. So, now, from the earlier solution that we had, that is uh, the solution, uh, the salt itself, plus barium chloride, let us add few drops of, to that particular substance, let us add few drops of uh, phenolphthalein, so we'll be able to differentiate between that. So, few drops of phenolphthalein now. You can see, you can see the color change. You can see the color change now, turning from uh, the clear solution to the pink, a deep red, uh, uh, deep pink color. So that is informing that we have the presence of CO2 in this uh, substance. So here, I am having this. We have. Results from above plus phenolphthalein plus phenolphthalein indicator. Now, colorless solution, colorless solution turns a uh, pink or deep pink. On addition, on addition of phenolphthalein, uh, on the addition of phenolphthalein. So for the inference now, we have CO2 confirmed. So this is possibly what you will be seeing in your exam. You could also be asked to test for some other things, you know, in case you are asked to test for some other things, depending on uh, the, the, the processes that you are asked to undergo. I have just done this uh, just from uh, previous uh, experiments, so certain that these are the possible things that you probably be asked to do. In case you are asked to heat your salt, probably you are asked to put your salt, you dissolve your salt and you are asked to heat it, there are also certain ions that you can what suspect and probably you'll be able to suspect and what confirm uh, some other things. Aeons that you can suspect, you can suspect potassium ion, you can suspect sodium ion and the rest of those. And then that will narrow it down to a particular uh, ion that is present in the salt. I want you to try as much as possible to be mindful of how you fill your table. Everything you are putting down in your table must be in order. You must be able to state categorically everything that you observe under the observation because everything here carries marks. Even if you are not getting the inference, let's assume that you don't know the appropriate aeon for a particular uh, experiment. But even as much as you can get the observations correctly, it also fetches you marks. So I wish you all success in your exam. Don't forget to subscribe and share this content. Subscribe to the channel. Share this content, like it, and we'll be expecting your comments. Thank you very much and God bless.